Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for watching this video. Now, um, I received a few comments um, regarding uh, the collection ads um, that I have been just giving the run through uh, rather than making people understand what the options are and um, how exactly uh, to add products uh, to your collections or um, how to run a collection ad. So, um, also, uh, someone mentioned that I have a thick accent and I speak really fast. So I'll keep it as simple as I can. Uh, so everyone can understand that uh, how to run collection ads and um, what every detail, uh, I'd like to provide details at every point that everyone can understand. So in order to run collection ads, um, the steps are the same, go to your ads, uh, manager account click on ads manager uh, once you're in your business account if you do not have a ads account or a business account um, there are videos available the tutorial videos uh, where I've shown how to create a business account or how to create ads manager uh, I'm assuming if you're at this level your pixel or your um, data set is already integrated with your um, you know the ads manager account now you click campaign once you have clicked on the create campaign it'll take you here now these are different sorts of ads um, if you're selling products like we are um, if you're an e-commerce store then click on sales because that's your target to generate more sales you can also run leads um, if you're trying to get more leads and um, generate data for your um, company's database so click on sales, click on continue, manual sales campaign and Advantage Plus shopping campaign. I have done a video on Advantage Plus shopping campaign. When Advantage Plus shopping campaign is something where um, you let Facebook decide um, on everything. It's more of an automated thing. Um, I like to run manual sales campaigns because uh, sales campaign because that's something where I have everything in my control. And I would like to edit or add or subtract things according to what I think is more suitable for my business. So once we click on manual sales campaign, um, it'll take you to this page. Now, the three steps. Uh, this is the campaign level. Uh, this is the sales uh, level and this is the ads level. Now, in other words, this is campaign, this is ad sets and this is ads. I have done how to create multiple ad sets within one campaign uh, so basically you are uh, within one campaign within the same budget um, you're showing your customers three to four different ad sets when i say ad sets that means different audiences and when i say ads that means different creatives for instance could be uh, the single image the carousel uh, the video or things like that so I have uh, given the link in the description and you can see the link over here as well. Um, you can click on that and you can learn how to create multiple ad sets within one campaign. Now over here, um, the campaign object objective is sales. Use a catalog, uh, sorry, uh, because we're running the catalog ads, I will not use the catalog here because this, yeah, so the most important thing, you also need to understand how to create a catalog um, using your Facebook pixel. If you're integrated, um, if you're uh, integrated with Shopify or WooCommerce, the cam, um, your catalog will automatically be created. If you are not in, uh, have done, if you haven't done the integration, the catalog can be created. Um, I have uh, done a video on that as well, and I'll leave the link over here as well. So basically, how to add products to a catalog. So now uh, advantage campaign budget plus is basically uh, the campaign op uh, budget optimization its previous name used to be campaign budget optimization so what uh, if you switch this on uh, what facebook does is that it basically assigns more budget automatically to that certain ad set or ad which is performing better i usually keep it off uh, because currently the business i'm running uh, in the region i'm running i don't usually get much results when I switch it on. A-B testing is basically for those who are 
uh, trying to understand that which sort of audience text or um, ad creatives are more suitable for them and uh, according to that they can choose and run the campaigns according for instance it'll, you uh, run a b test to see if um, which audience or which images are performing better for instance even single images or videos whichever is performing better then you can choose at the same for your next campaign it's basically for at if you're at the initial um, age of running at now i need to drive more uh, <clears throat> sales uh, to my website because I do not have an app or uh, I don't want people to call me. I want them to go to my website and purchase directly from the website. Now there are two options, maximize number of conversions or maximize value of conversion. This goal is basically totally depends on you. So if you have a product which is worth 18K or 20K, uh, I'm talking about Pakistan in rupees or if there is something which is worth um, fifty dollars, sixty dollars, forty dollars, thirty dollars. Then I suggest you go for maximize value of conversions, be and because you're selling only few products, but their value is more, and you'd like more people to shop those products, then go for this. But I have more than six thousand, seven thousand products on my website, so I want maximum number of conversions. Now, Pixel needs to be integrated. Your conversion event needs to be purchased. This will only show if your conversion API is integrated. There's a video on conversion API as well. I'll leave the link. Um, Dynamic Creative, I switched off. Um, or you can switch it on. Um, the totally up is, is up to you. Facebook automatically decides. Now, the budget, it's up to you, you could uh, leave. For instance, um, if you're a startup, just use um, 2,000, 1,000, 3,000 rupees per day. That will help you uh, in understanding um, what sort of, because if you're running uh, traffic ads in the beginning, it'll show you um, that's much cheaper and you will be able to understand the which sort of ads people respond to more once you know then increase your budget but never increase your budget from for instance $20 to $100 um, do not jump that high initially increase the budget it should be 10% 20% um, if your campaign is performing well keep on increasing its budget after every three four days or seven days to 10% or 20% rather than doing it otherwise so after that uh, location uh, it's up to you you can choose cities countries wherever you have product um, you're gonna sell your product and audience selection means um, you can put interests behaviors there's a video on that you can I will not go through this right now then click on next now from here you need to choose collection ads right so when you choose collection ads <clears throat> over here you just put anything text which suits your audience audience the most headline sale or whatever you want to show your customers now these two texts are most important because these will be written on the main ad and people will react looking at these uh, texts so you need to um, you need to be very wise while choosing uh, the headlines or things like that now what is instant experience instant experience face meta also introduced the instant experience post instant experience is basically a small catalog on your uh, facebook post as well on or on ads as well usually what the, you run ads where it's a single image or a video people click on your single image and they go to your website <clears throat> in instant experience the whole mini website is shown with or people do not have to go to your website the whole catalog is shown on the facebook feed so when they click on it the different products are shown um, which could be added manually or you can use the catalog as well to show those products and you can also choose your own products which you want to show it to people when they click on. For instance, there's a certain collection of t-shirts, jackets, or anything like that. You can put that collection and only that collection will be shown to the customers or the, your potential customers. 
So uh, when you click on create new, these are different formats for instant experience. Um, I usually choose storefront or also the customer acquisition. Uh, the storefront, uh, these are basically different formats, how you add products or how you want your collection to be shown to people. For instance, um, it's more of a design, a mini design um, you want people to see. Why I choose storefront because over uh, running different sort of ads, different sort of collections, I know what my audience reacts to. So before saying that um, you'd like to run um, storefront or any other, you need to know what sort of uh, what what sort of instant experience your audience will react to. For that, you'll have to run different sort of ads, run traffic ads, uh, or landing page views use the collection or catalogs and that and then eventually you will know what sort of instant experience is more suitable for you now as i said order dynamically or choose a specific order uh, if you like a certain collection or set of products you want to show to your customers you choose a specific order or if you want order dynamically it will dynamically choose the collection whichever product People respond to more that will be shown um, at the top and others will automatically be uh, shown uh, you know dynamically it'll change the you need to have a catalog to run instant experience or collection ads if you don't have a catalog uh, then you'll have to manually add products to the catalog and then you'll be able to run the collection ads. but it's much easier if you have your catalog integrated with your meta uh, business account for that you'll have to go to your commerce account and create a catalog i have a video uh, i'll share the link for that as well and you'll know how to add products to your catalogs manually now these are the product sets within a catalog uh, you can create different product sets as i said there are certain products for instance you just like to show vendor products or you like to show, uh, for instance, there are baby products and you just like to show a few of them. You can create a set of those products and you can advertise uh, those that product set to your customers. You can create a product set by clicking on this plus sign and over here um, you can click on the product type or the product itself, choose the product and from here, um, for instance, flower. Just click on it and click on create and your new catalog give it a name and your new catalog will be created so once you have done that for instance i choose new arrivals and this is the main image or the video initially people will not see this but only this will be shown so this needs to be very creative that people click on it and when they click on it this whole catalog as a mini website will be shown to them once they click on it, then they will eventually go to your website and shop for that. But if you're not, if you're in a region where people can check out, um, uh, for checkout, they don't have to go to your website. They can do that on Meta over here as on the same platform as well. So it could be a video. It could be a dynamic video. Dynamic video means all of these products, um, face meta will all automatically create a video and it will be shown over here and or you can choose an image if you have a video that you think um, is very creative it's always suggested to use a video because video usually gives more results than a static image so this is basically shop now or or shop more or order now or place your order something like that and destination is basically the collection or the website or the landing page where all of these new products are available so create a collect uh, create a landing page where this whole collection is available not to a certain product or not to your home page but a collection where all of these products are available so people can go and browse that just click on done and once you do that Okay, I have to do different things in order to make this. Let's click on this. And make this. And now you can just click on that. So 
So this is your instant experience um, ready to be advertised. Now these are the areas where it will be shown. If it's not shown in the Instagram profile or anything, you can adjust accordingly. But the collection ads are not shown everywhere. There are specific placements where it's shown. For instance, it will not be shown in the Instagram profile video or the Facebook right column because it's too large for that. Deep link to website means, for instance, um, someone clicks on the on a certain product and that product is not available on your website anymore it's sold out um, so rather than as i said previously rather than going to the product when people click on any product they'll go to that certain collection that you've created for people to, um, to shop from so put all of your products in at one place in one collection and give that link over here so whenever they click on any of these uh, following products they'll uh, land to that certain collection and they can see all of those products that are available uh, now your uh, website events is your pixel your data set and now simply you can just click on publish and your collection ad is ready to be advertised uh, so this is how you basically run collection ads if there is something that i've missed um, you think uh, needs more uh, you know uh, elaboration or any sort of details you require do not hesitate to get in touch uh, you can email me you can leave the comments and i'll respond to those thank you